drummers against implied timekeeping, uh, a left-handed lead sweep continuing with a shuffle. Uh, I'm into this particular exercise for drummers because it'll help you understand what I'm trying to teach you when I talk about a left-handed sweep. Uh, it'll help you be a lot more creative in understanding the, uh, the idea of sweeping up. Now, I shot about three years ago, super synchronized shuffle. One, two, three, four, and five. Um, and that was based on the Whitney Houston song, uh, I'm Your Girl Tonight. Uh, please take a look at that if you haven't seen it, all right? And so watch what I'm doing with this pattern. Uh, you can make fun of my hat if you want. I'm, I'm in an environment where I need it. Uh, so bear with me, okay? I don't care. That's fine. But this pattern, watch what I'm doing. experiment with it. And this is what I want you to do to get used to this. You can, it depends where you are in the bar, but right, left, 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 right, 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 so forth. Just get used to this triplet uh, relationship and where you are in the bar. Uh, because what it will do is you can get interesting ideas out of it. And if you have a remote hi-hat, uh, I highly recommend getting one. You can come up with so many different ideas. But for now, I assume most of you don't. And I like a double pedal as well. You may not have one, but you can still experiment. The idea always is to get the left as the lead and have the right augmented, not the other way around. And certainly, we don't come down. We are going up. So learn the, the basic B. start to experiment. Left, right, wherever you are. But you can you can come down with the right and then come back. I just got to get you to think in terms of this. But mashing your foot. Does this make sense? Hopefully it does. Um, you don't want to get too complicated with it, but I think it'll help you creatively. And it'll just, you'll stand out as a player. Because you know when your left hand is leading, you're at command. And it's just much better than ghost notes and all those things, because you're, you're accentuating every note. And it just sounds great when you're in, even in a band context. So this is a left-handed sweep triplet. I'll come up with some name. But I want you to work on it. Um, for those of you visiting, um, I. I sometimes do these randomly um, as they inspire me to inspire you because I, I want to enhance uh, your independence and definitely your power. But creativity is the name of the game with me especially and I want you to tap into it but you have to have certain principles in my view to do that. All right, This hopefully is an example of it. If you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comments section. I'll answer as best I can. I'm on twitter.com forward slash drummers against facebook.com forward slash drummers against implied timekeeping and I have a Patreon account I opened up uh, slash uh, Richard Dialbus uh, Richard P. Dalbus. Um, your support is always uh, appreciated and if you haven't subscribed because your subscription is the support and inspiration for me to continue and I do thank you for that always uh, you know these things that I'm doing I uh, do them because I want to uh, it inspires me to inspire you and I'm getting some great feedback. But I want you to understand why. You know, the principles here uh, have to have some reason for them, uh, not just because I'm into them. I think these will record well. You can apply them. They're not that difficult. But learn the basic thing I'm showing you. And understand that by sweeping up, not down, gives you a major advantage over 
many other players. All right. My best to you, and as I say, uh, forgive me for the hat. You know, it gets cold, and this is what I have. All right. So my best to all of you for looking in. Take care.